So we are now up in the Vertex room, and in this room are all the receivers. So the way these antennas work is we point the antennas in the direction from which the, the radiation from the distant optic is coming. It's collected, as we will discuss upstairs when we get, and eventually comes down this big tube. This is called a feed. So the radiation comes down this big tube and goes into this cryostat. This is a cool system, which is down to about 15 degrees absolute Kelvin temperature. We have it this cold because a warm receiver adds its own noise. We're measuring noise from distant space. We want to minimize the noise from the receiver in order to maximize our signal. And even so, when you think about the power that comes out of a radio telescope, more than 99% of it is actually the receiver, and less than 1% of it is from, from the actual sky. And that's the best that we can do, given the weakness of the signals that we are trying that we are trying to detect. The EVLA has eight amplifiers, eight receiver systems. These eight receiver systems cover the frequency span from 1 to 50 gigahertz. This one here is from 1 to 2 gigahertz. Over here is the next lowest wavelength, uh, sorry, the next lowest frequency that collects radiation from 2 to 4 gigahertz. So when the antenna is set up, and then we'll explain how this is done a little later, so that the radiation from a distant source is coming down that feed, it goes into this receiver, goes through its orthogonal transducer, it's converted and amplified inside this cooled receiver system, it comes out on these two little cables, this is when the signals from deep space are coming out, where they go into other amplification, into these two cables to go to that same patch panel that we had discussed for the, for the other frequency band. So that's two other frequency bands. There are six others. This one here with the black foam on it is the next highest frequency band from 4 to 8 gigahertz. It's what we call C-band. Next to it, the other uh, slightly smaller horn is the 8 to 12 gigahertz frequency band. So that covers from 1 to 8 gigahertz. And then, by swinging over and looking up in this direction, we can see the four highest frequency bands. On the left is the new, brand new 12 to 18 gigahertz receiver. Next to it is the 18 to 27 gigahertz. Next to it is the 40 to 50 gigahertz. And the last one, tucked up against the edge, is the 27 to 40 gigahertz frequency band. All of these receivers work in essentially the same way. They receive the frequency information coming from deep space. These frequencies are uh, split into their uh, polarization components, amplified in low noise amplifiers, further amplified, converted to different frequencies, all collected in this patch panel up against this cabinet here. And within here is the electronics to select which one of these bands that we are actually going to be doing our observing in.